Hi ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to this YouTube channel. If you are new here, tap on the subscription button and on the notification bell in order to get a notification anytime we upload a new video. Meanwhile, don't forget to like this video. In this channel, we talk about politics. We talk about current issues, more so current political issues. And we don't massage anybody's ego here. We call a spade a spade. If you are a thief, we say you are a thief. If you are a good man, we will tell you you are good. And in this channel, we have been saying very categorically clear that Ruto is the biggest thief we have in this country. William Ruto is the biggest thief we have in Kenya today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sorry about that, and I will continue. William Ruto, you are the biggest thief we have in Kenya today. Yes, that's that. So today, Moses Kuria was in a church function somewhere. They were together with Mainanjenga. And from Moses Kuria's statement and even tone by which he was talking, it just tells you something is not right in the Tangatanga -tanga house. There is a problem in the hustler movement. There is a big problem in the hustler movement. Moses Kuria made it very clear that anybody giving Mike Sonko a microphone to talk, or rather somebody inviting Mike Sonko to a rally and giving Mike Sonko a microphone, is doing something very, very bad. In fact, Moses Kuria suggested that Mike Sonko, instead of inviting Mike Sonko to a rally and giving him a microphone, you should help him by taking him to a psychiatric hospital for his head to be checked. That's the exact statement that Moses Kuria delivered today. Badala kupatia Mike Sonko microphone, peleka Mike Sonko hospital, kichuake yangaliwe. That is the statement Moses Kuria made and made it very boldly. Mainanjenga also, when given a chance to speak, reiterated the same thing. In fact, Mainanjenga was very candid that the president has to be respected irrespective of who you are. You must respect the president. Things are getting interesting and hotter. And for those who thought they were already in state house, Mambo Bado, in fact, Mambo Mambo bado, ndio mambo bado. Hata maneno ijaanza ndio sasa watu wanafanya tizi tizi kidogo wanze maneno. Tanga Tanga movement or rather these people calling themselves hustlers have been using huge crowds and huge rallies as a sign of Ruto's popularity. In fact they have been distributing they have been distributing videos and pictures of, of Ruto's huge rallies. And such huge rallies excite them to a point they now see Ruto is already in state house. Ruto is already the fifth president because of the huge rallies. <laughs> That's what the Dagatanga and these people calling themselves hustlers believe. They believe the bigger the rally, the, the bigger the rally, the more popular you are. I don't know what they will say about Raila's rally today. Raila was in Embakasi. He was in the Jacaranda grounds. And looking at that, the kind of attendance, those who attended that rally, I can say it was ten times what Rudo received when he was there, I think, some few days, a week ago. Raila's rally in Jacaranda ground had, was attended by thousands. So I don't know what the Hustler group will say about that. If it's about huge rallies, then I think that rally was huger hmm, than Ruto's rally when he was there in Kayole. So Tangatanga group is not about huge crowds. Huge crowds don't lead somebody to state house. And these Raila supporters knows very well. And Raila himself knows that very well. It's not about the huge crowds or the the big rallies. It's about strategy. 
To be president takes more than just crowds. Hmm? It takes more than just a huge crowd to be president. So Tanga Tanga, think twice and change your strategy. It's not about the huge rally, but it's about strategy. Ladies and gentlemen, in this channel, I have maintained several times, and I continue to say even now, politics, our politics in Kenya is local. And at the right time, Kenyans will look at their ethnicity. At the right time when now it's about voting, all Kenyans will go back, will all to back to their ethnic cocoons. Nkikuyus will tube back to their mood when you're home. Luos will tube back and Luya the same. Kalenjins will tube back to their home. Kambas will tube back to their home. And we have started seeing that kind of re realignment picking up. Pole pole. It's only that Kenyans forget very easily. Isaac Ruto, joining William Ruto does not mean now he loves William Ruto. Or that maybe their manifesto is the same as he was saying today, that he joined William Ruto because their manifesto is more or less the same. No, it's about local politics. Isaac Ruto knows very well that the only way he can survive politically in Rift Valley is to align with him, himself with William Ruto. That is the only way, not even about manifesto. On the same issue, Mount Kenya, this MPs tanga tanga ring with William Ruto. I really sympathize with you. I sympathize with you because those same same crowds you are telling us are with William Ruto. Those same same crowds will reject you because you have betrayed them. You have betrayed them in 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 the sense that you have failed to identify with their ethnic kingpin. You are identified with some people's ethnic kingpin and you have neglected your ethnic kingpin. If anything, you are abusing their ethnic kingpin. So these Mount Kenya leaders saying the crowd is with Ruto, we must go where the crowds are. Paul Esana, you are wasting your time and you are digging your own political grave. Those same same crowds you are telling us with Ruto are the same same crowds that will reject you for betraying their ethnic kingpin. There is a musician, who is an evangelist, Ushindi, Uyundunda Muyesu singer. He says that Mikono walio ni inulia, wakini shangilia, nyo ikawa ni mipanga. Those same, same hands the people are celebrating, cheering you up with, those same, same, same hands they will use to reject and destroy you. Ladies and gentlemen, Politics in our country is getting lively. And I've always maintained in this channel, time over, and some people have accused me of being biased. I'm not biased, but I'm just analyzing politics as it is. Hmm? The, tr the truth, truth is only one, but lies can be so many. So if I say one truth cons consistently, it does not mean I'm biased. Because truth does not change, it's only one. If I strongly believe William Ruto is a thief, I don't need to say he's a good man so that I don't become biased, but I will still remain, I will maintain that stand that he's a thief. Hmm? Because the truth is only one, lies can be many. The Wiper group were in Machakos today, and they have started their campaigns for Romodama's ex-wife, Kavindu. <laughs> You can see politics is now getting local, the local politics as we know it. In fact, the person they were castigating more was William Ruto. So it means William Ruto is an enemy of everybody. And history has taught us that in Kenya, for you to win the presidency, you must be somebody, you must be a, a team leader, you must work with so many ethnic kingpins. That's the only way you can get presidents in Kenya. Eh? The masses, the masses don't know. The masses want to see you working with the ethnic kingpin in order for them to vote for you. Ruto has been abusing Kalonzo, him Jamwa Kukalia Lami. He has been abusing Mudavadi. He has been calling Raila Muganga. So this man has antagonized everybody. 
And as I speak now, nobody is even ready or even willing to work with William Ruto. And this, this is why I strongly believe, ladies and gentlemen, were election to be done today, I sympathize with this man calling himself William Ruto. This man calling himself William Ruto, ladies and gentlemen, and mark my words today, were election to be done today in Kenya, forget about all the, what is being said in uh, this social media, forget about all that. Were election to be done today, ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you that the only place Ruto is assured of getting votes is maybe his Nandi sub-tribe, not even the college in as a whole. Ruto is only assured of the Nandi votes. Only that the Tugen may not vote for him. The Pokot may not vote for this man. The Keios and all these sub-tribes making the, the Kalenjin ethnic tribe, they are not as homogeneous as you have been made to believe. You know, Ruto has been made by the media. Media has been hyping Ruto's campaign to a point now Ruto feels he's, he is so popular. This man is not popular, ladies and gentlemen. This man is enjoying false popularity. And that false popularity, you will come to remember my words, this man is not as popular as being portrayed by the local media. This is a false popularity. Our politics in this country and to larger an extent in Africa, and even not Africa, politics world over, blue states will always remain blue. Red will always remain red. Hmm? So for people to change all of a sudden that now they are neglecting their ethnic voting pattern just in one day is not easy. It will take years for Kenyans to come to a realization that they, cannot, they can vote out of their ethnic cocoons. It will take years. And maybe it might never end. So Ruto with this hustler agenda, this thing calling hustler movement, that's nonsense, that's rubbish. You are wasting your time. Instead of wasting time kutafuta these hustler people, talk well with the ethnic kingpin. That's the only thing that will save you, William Ruto. In fact, Raila today was very clear and very candid in Embakasi. He said it very clear that instead of bringing wheelbarrows to Nairobi, take them to Sugoi, where you come from. And the people shouted and cheered Raila as he attacked the so-called wheelbarronomics. Hmm? Raila was very clear that instead of bringing us wheelbarrow here in Nairobi, we don't need wheelbarrows in Nairobi, take them to Sugoi. And the same them people who Ruto have been cheering, Ruto they were celebrating and eh, cheering Raila as they attacked the wheelbarrow thing. This only shows you that Ruto, you are basing your popularity on a false pedestal. The hustlers, this one you are saying, Mama Mboga, and this one, they have their tribes. Mm -hmm. A Jalu hustler will always be a Raila hustler. A Mukamba will always be a Kalonzo. A Kikuyu, this Meru, these ones are Uhurus. You are wasting time. Mm -hmm. The only way you will get these people to vote for you is by negotiating with their ethnic kingpin. Negotiate well with their ethnic kingpin. The moment you, they see you with their ethnic kingpin, you have their votes. The more you abuse their ethnic kingpin, you don't have their votes. Ladies and gentlemen, in fact now let me reiterate what also Peter Munya stated, I think yesterday. Peter Munya asked, you have been campaigning as from 2018, eh? and you are using government resources to campaign everywhere, as from 2018. These government resources you are using to campaign, why can't you channel them properly into government structures eh? and let their... Let the money you are using to campaign be channeled into development. Why is it that now when others campaign, you are saying, oh, we have BBI, uh, health workers, that's kind of hypocrisy. And Peter Munya was very, very clear that they will campaign. And they are going to campaign for BBI thoroughly in Mount Kenya region. As an observer, observing local politics without being biased, I can just tell, tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that 2022 is going to be a very easy election. It's going to be a very easy election because the people have now agreed. The, 
the people have agreed all together, save for only one person. All ethnic kingpins have agreed. They are in one basket. And as long as they remain in one basket, this is a walkover, ladies and gentlemen. This is a walkover. So let me leave it there today, ladies and gentlemen. If you are new here, just as I did state, touch on the subscription button. But don't forget to like this video. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen.